In this video, I'm going to talk about the advantages of having both a solar-powered portable power station and a gas generator, and how they work together in a power outage. Then I'm going to demonstrate charging our portable power station with our gas generator. Now our Champion Dual Fuel 3400 Watt Generator, this particular model has been discontinued, but I'm going to post similar models under the description below. In fact, I prefer some of those models to this one. Finally, I'm going to give suggestions about you know, what to look for if you're in the market for a gas generator uh, that can also charge your portable power station. So why a gas generator? I prefer solar power because it's quiet, you can run inside, people won't be able to hear it, no fuel expense, mess, or smell, and fuel might not be available for your gas generator. Both solar and gas generators are, um, play a very important role. Here are a few reasons I wanted a gas generator. In the summer, I want to be able to run my 5,000 BTU window air on this Champion because I can get 14 hours out of it on just one tank of propane, 20 pound. But with my Delta, which is the largest portable power station I have at the moment, uh, I can probably get two hours of runtime on that, maybe four with some solar power coming in. In the winter, I want to be able to run my Vornado heater. By the way, I have a review right here if you want to check that out on the Vornado. I'm going to run it on low on this Champion. I can get about, again, 14 hours on one tank. But on the Delta, it would be about an hour and a half and maybe a little over two hours uh, with some solar power. Now the main reason I wanted this Champion gas generator is because I wanted to be able to charge my portable power station uh, if, if I couldn't charge it through solar panels, it, you know, if, if there's a storm or something like that. And some of you would say, well then just use your gas generator for that. But there might be a situation when you have a widespread outage like we had in Texas in February 2021 where there wasn't any fuel available. Now in that case, I want to ration my fuel, run my portable power station and solar panels uh, as much as I can and then if a storm hits and I can't use my panels, that's when I would use my gas generator to charge it up. Okay, we're going to run our setup. The Delta 1300 portable power station is at 50% state of charge. If we were experiencing a uh, power outage right now, we wouldn't be able to charge this with solar panels because it's too cloudy. We're actually, there's a storm on the way. Can't even see the sun. So instead, we're going to charge it with a Champion generator using propane just to see how well it works, find out how long it'll take to get to Okay, we'll check back in a little bit. There it is, 100% in 45 minutes. This is what the clouds turned into in the evening. Our power went out only for about 30 minutes or so, so we didn't need the Delta 1300, but others had their power out for hours. It felt good to be prepared. If you're in the market for a portable power station, it'd be helpful to know your wattage demand and the battery size you need. If you need help with this, you may want to watch my interactive instructional video series uh, from the link above. If you're in the market for a gas generator that will also charge your portable power station, I have a few suggestions. First, contact the manufacturer of your portable power station to find out if you can even run a gas generator on it to charge it. And then what requirements there would be, such as wattage requirements. Second, consider an inverter generator. It's quite lightweight and more efficient. Third, a clean sine wave or pure sine wave is a must. Four, you want an electric start if you have a bad arm or arthritis. Lastly, a dual fuel generator will provide you with more options. The military has a saying that I think applies to this. 
In fact, I think it applies to a lot of this video. Two is one and one is none. If you like this video, please share it, like it, subscribe, and thanks for watching and have a great day.